Now it's time to define data types. As you would have seen, there are different types of data that these variables hold. For example, this hello world is a string and values 2 and 3 are integers and this value 8.4 is a floating point. So when you assign a variable to these values, the variable takes that data type. So how do we know what data type a particular variable is? There is again another inbuilt function called type. So if we pass a variable as an argument to this type function, type will return what the data type of that variable is. So I want to see what is the data type of A, which is holding the value 2. So I am passing that variable name A as an argument to the type function and I need to print it out in the console. So I give the entire type A within the uh, parameters argument. Similarly, I would like to see the value, uh, the type of variables B and C. I'll do the same thing of B and print type of C. I would also like to see what is the data type of these string variables. So I'll do print of welcome string. And of the print of name and print of a new string. So, what do we expect? Type of A, as you have seen here, we assigned a value to which is an integer. So, the type of A should be an integer. Similarly, type of B. What is the value of the b holds? So it is again an integer. So type of b should be returning an integer as well. How about type of c? c is holding a value 8.4, which is a floating point. So we expect type of c to provide a floating point data type. How about welcome string, name, and new string? All these are string data types like hello world, shan and a concatenation of two strings which is again another string. So on these three items we expect a data type of string. So let us execute our program and see if we get the results expected. Okay, what did we get here? So this is the type of A as we expected. It is the class int, which is a short form for integer. Again, class on the B is again integer. And C, which was holding the value 8.4, it is a floating point. So we got float. And as we expected, the strings, the variables of um, that were holding the strings got a data type. Why did we not get the data type? Rather, why did we get the value of the variables? Let's look at our program again. Okay. Yeah, we did not give the type function, so it just printed the value of the variable. So we should have done this. Type of name. And type of new string. Let's execute our program again. Okay. So these three things we already saw. These were as expected. And the string variables, as we expected, it is returning the string data types. str stands for string. In addition to the data types like integer, float, and strings, there are a few other data types as well. Let's take a look. Let me create a new program. Other data types. .py. Let me give a comment within 
the uh, python program you can give a command by starting with the hash symbol and you can type any command that will be meaningful making the program a little more readable here i am going to say that this program will introduce you to few data types within python so this is a comment within python the python interpreter will ignore the statements this is not considered as part of the code let us create a variable say a and create a new list a list is a data type that can hold more than one item in our examples before the variables that we used held just one value it was either like a number three or it was a four or it was a string like hello world all of these were one single value that was assigned to a variable in a list you can assign you can package multiple values as a list and assign them to a variable so yeah i am defining that as a list how do i define a list if it has to be within square brackets an assignment like this is a list right now it is an empty list you are assigning an empty list to the variable a if you want to add some items you need to separate the items with a comma let me add some items like five six seven and all the items in the list it doesn't have to be of the same data type like integer you can have mixer data types as well like i can have 8.5 i can also have string like hello all these make up a list and we assign that to a variable a how do we know that a is a list and find out by calling the type function what do we have to pass as an argument to the type function the name of the variable for which we want to find the data type type of a and we want this to be printed in the console the type of a whatever is being returned the entire thing i want to print it out so for the print function we will give type of a as the argument let's execute the program find out the data type python other data types or py so you see it is the list data type okay let us go back to our program let's put a comment that this is a list okay what other data types do we have we also have tuples tuples are again a way to bundle a list of items and assign them to a variable there are differences between a list and a tuple we will get into the details of what is a list and what is a tuple and how it is different and what all operations we can perform on a list or a tuple we will get to those details later for now let us just know that there is something called tuples tuples are defined by encompassing these items within a parenthesis so i can have items like integers 5 6 and it can also have some strings like hello or it can have some floating point values 0.5 it's very similar to list at an initial look but it can also hold a list of items on a single variable how do we find out the data type of a variable b again do a type of b and let's print it out let's execute the program tuple so that's the data type back to our program and what other data type do we have we got set let us define another variable c and this is again a data type that can be used to hold multiple values we will get into the details of what a set is and how it is different from tuples and list but for now again just know that there is something called a set and a set is something that encompasses item within curly braces items are again separated by comma and it can have elements like eight nine or it can have strings and it can have a float let's find out what is the data type of this Let's execute this as you see this is a set let's go back to our program similarly we have one other data type called dictionary this is slightly different from the rest this does not have a list of items alone but it has a key assigned to those items uh, like set it also encompasses the items within a curly braces and each element will have a key and a value for example i will have something like name and it is followed by colon and then there will be a value say shan next element is separated with a comma the next element will again have a key and a value the key and value are separated by a colon like here c can be a year and the value can be 2000 let us write another element in this it can be the height say 70 
Okay, so this is a dictionary wherein we have elements and each element has a key and a value. Let's find the data type of this variable, type of D. Let's print it out. Save it, execute the program. This is a dictionary, DICT. There is one other type of um, data type that you need to be aware of. That is the Boolean data type. Let us create a new program. Let's call it bool.py. Let us create a variable a and assign it to a boolean value. If you are not familiar, a boolean is something that can be either a true or a false. Boolean data types, as the name suggests, can only take a value of true or a false. If we assign a is equal to true, that makes a a boolean data type or i could assign false to another variable say b this again makes b a boolean data type let us find out what the data types of a and b are by executing this program this is type of a print it out and let us type let us print type of b as well execute this program both a and b are boolean data types Okay, let's go back to our program again. In addition to directly assigning values like true and or false to the variables, you can also evaluate a condition and that condition will result a true or a false. For example, if you say 3 is less than 5, is this true? Yes, 3 is less than 5. So this expression will return true. So if you assign it to a variable, say C, now C will become a Boolean data type. So we can print type of C and you will notice that C is a Boolean data type. Let us also print the value of C so that you can see for yourself what value it gets assigned to C. Before uh, we execute the program, let's go ahead and create a few other variables with a Boolean data type. D let us um, evaluate an expression that uh, gives us a false say 3 is greater than 5 so this should evaluate to false and again this will make d a boolean data type so let us print this as well print type of d and print the value of d one more condition we can evaluate if we want to evaluate if something is equal to something else then you can give a double equal to sign like this if I give 4 is equal to equal to 4, this is the same, so this should evaluate to true. Or if you want to assign these values to variables, like say f is equal to 100 and g is equal to 100, and then you want to evaluate if f and g are the same, you can do f equal to equal to g, you can say h is equal to f equal to equal to g. So let's print these values as well. Print e which we are hoping it will give us a true. Similarly, if we evaluate H, this will evaluate to true. So let's rather change it to 105 so that this expression evaluates to false. So let's try to figure out what the values of each of these statements are going to produce. So print type of A, we are expecting that to be boolean. So we can add a comment for our reference. So this will be bool hash. This again, we are expecting it to be bool hash. UOL. And the value of C, what is C? 3 less than 5. So, which will be 3 less than 5 is a true statement. So, true should be getting assigned to C. So, here we are expecting value C, uh, true to be returned. And type of D, this is 3 greater than 5. And that gets assigned to D. So, D becomes a Boolean data type. So, this will be bool. When you print the value of D, 3 greater than 5 is a false statement. So, D will be assigned with false. It will be true and h it is evaluating whether f and g are the same which is not so it will evaluate to false so we should expect something like bool 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 true bool false true false let's execute our program as we expected bool 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 true bool false true false 